Australian schools are made up of a diverse range of students that needs to be included and celebrated in the classroom. Students can range from many aspects such as economic status, gifted and talented, students with disabilities, ethnicity, Indigenous students, just to name a few. All these diversities are important factors that are important in understanding the diverse needs of each student in the classroom. As classroom teacher, it is by the national framework of the values of education for Australian schooling to provide students with the nine values. These values are care and compassion, doing your best, fair go, freedom, honesty and trustworthiness, integrity and respect, responsibility, understanding, tolerance and inclusion. The main focus of embracing diversity in the classroom is to promote inclusion amongst all students. Ethnicity and cultural diversity has a major impact. Today in Australia, uh, today in Australia, first and second generation immigrants make up 40% of the population. Among children, 15% over five years of age speak a language other than English. Or that stu a study on teachers in Western Australia contested that teachers are more hesitant with how to include students with disabilities in the classroom unless they have had experience with these students previously. These are just a few instances that show teachers in the classroom need to be equipped with the tools and skills to create inclusive pedagogy for this diverse country. A poster on this will de demonstrate exactly how to work with diverse students. The poster will work as a guide and develop upon ideas, policies and pedagogical practices that connect to how diversity is addressed and accommodated for in schools. Examples will be given by using the project school of Kingscliff State Primary and how their school accommodates to the needs of these diverse students. Supporting environments are a major aspect of feeling safe and supported and valued in the classroom. For students, knowing that they have multiple supportive places to go no matter what it is will accommodate for their needs. Places to go are listed in the poster. Each of these places would definitely provide support and safety for each student dependent on what they need. Kingscliff Primary School had a creative arts club run by the school chaplain during breaks. It was a great creative outlet for students emotionally, socially and physically, a space where students felt no judgement, just support. Diverse modes of delivery are a necessity when considering diversity in the classroom. MIO 2008 states, UDL is the multiple or flexible options in expression and performance and representations of information and content. Therefore, using varied modes such as the ones listed would allow students diverse modes of interpretation and allow students to engage in the delivery they are best suited to. As a teacher, appealing to the four different learning styles such as auditory, kinesthetic, tactile and visual will allow you to connect with students' best learning styles. Some of these learning styles and examples on how to use them are listed below on the poster, such as hands-on learning activities for people with kinesthetic, auditory, maybe talking discussions and even visuals, pictures and seeing things done will definitely help them. Diverse modes of presentation and assessment is giving students the choice and freedom to present their work in ways they know how and want to. There are examples listed in the poster. For example, Kingscliff at Kingscliff, a year four class, did a science experiment. Students were asked to choose the experiment and present the experiment in a way they wish. Some did a speech or conducted the experiment or a poster. Having staff meetings, year level meetings, unit planning, co-teaching and planning collaborating with various teachers for support and assistance will allow support and inclusive strategies to build upon with you and your co-workers. As listed in the poster, there are many people that you can seek guidance from and support. Every school should have various policies that contribute to the diverse needs of every student and their families. Kingscliff Primary School had quite a few on their website. Just to name a few, they had support groups for Indigenous students, anti-bullying policies and anti-racism policies. Last of all, whole school support. Getting everyone involved is the way to start the change and move to a whole school approach for inclusion and diversity. Getting the school educated 
by supporting and collaborating with the people listed in the poster will allow you to move from diversity just in the classroom to the whole school.